So I don't see any boreholes. No, I don't see any boreholes. How long's it been down? So not very long. I mean, that was just last year that it died. So we cut it down last summer, late okay. last summer. Oh yeah, but that'll get you the the fungus will grow because it's cut off the roots. Oh right. It'll grow in there. And it'll grow. Okay. See the beetles have been working here, or ants, and the other ones. Right. Looks like you see the little squiggly path. Yep, they're getting in there. Well, still much more to go, huh? No, we're good. We're good. We're knocking them down. There's that wind. I don't really feel it too bad down here. Yeah. No. If you go out on the edge of the house, I can feel it at the camper. Yeah. Just open the door and it to come around that corner. Uh, the little door, but that door is built so it won't be flying open. Yeah. Hey folks, Eric the Old Jarhead here. First of all, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to jump right in here. After the last big log, we took a bit of a lunch break and then rolled in the second of the big logs that we had. There was just a couple of big logs to mill up. So we got that one rolled up and, and uh, had to work it a little bit to get it up on the deck. Most of the bark was peeled off and we got the last little bit before getting it up there, which is always nice to do when you got old logs. Had to do a little trimming, trim some knots up, that kind of thing. Once we get her all cleaned up, we'll get it up on the deck and we'll get going. And we're going to make some one buys out of it as well as some four by fours. We do make some changes uh, at the customer's request, and that's something that I always tell everybody. We can make changes on the fly, so if you want to do something different, we will. Right, got that log up on the deck, got it situated just right, started whittling it down. And, and the, the idea originally was we would take it up, make some one buys to get it down to the side that we needed for a good sized cant. And then we had a request to try and get one more three and a half inch live edge slab out of the center of the log. So the first thing to do, of course, is just to get that first face cut, get it rolled up against the side supports, and then start knocking it down some more. And, and we're gonna take some four inch slabs off once we get everything ready to go. And you know, you see me with the chainsaw there working it down a little bit. That's just to get those knots out of the way because we are pushing it, we're, we're running pretty wide. So we try to clear everything out of the way, start taking a few more flitch cuts. Once we get those flitch cuts done, we'll kind of move it around a little bit and sort of check, see where we can get that three and a half inch slab out of it. And, you know, I had to get the customer to kind of hold the log a little bit once I got it pushed over on the side supports and then whittle it down a little bit more just to make sure we can clear. And then we'll start taking some four inch slabs out so that we can make some four by fours. And then once we get down to the middle, we'll knock out a three and a half inch slide edge slab out of it for the customer and then go back to cutting down those four by fours.
Once we get the uh, four inch slabs knocked out, then we just gotta reverse roll them off the deck and just kind of get them out of the way. You can see I got a couple big slabs there. And we just roll those out of the way so that we can knock those down into four by fours afterwards. I think he was gonna make a gazebo with those. get a roll down we got the two four inch slabs out of the way we double check that three and a half inch and it's going to work for them so we're going to kick that back up onto the, the log and then use the tractor to get it off that'll be a nice big three and a half inch slab for him finish out all the three and a half inch stuff that he needed then it's just a matter of rolling up the remaining lower half of the log or the lower third and square it up so that we can start milling something out of it. We still got those big four by slabs that we're going to mill down as well. And we'll just knock out some one by flitches. Again, they needed a lot of one by so we can get it knocked down to the size that we want. And then once we've got it squared up pretty well, we'll just flop her back down onto the deck and take the top off so that we can start making four buys out of it. Now we're just gonna whittle it down. And we're just taking some live edge which cuts out of it to get it down to the side that size that we need. Once we get it down to four inches, stand it up straight, lower the side supports down, and I don't lower them all the way down because it will fall over if you're not careful. That band puts a lot of pressure on the log and it can twist it sideways. I actually had it happen a couple of times in the past. Can we just start knocking out four by fours? We get that last four by cut, they can pull that off. We're gonna roll up the remaining two slabs. And as always, you know Simper Gumby, right? Be flexible, always flexible. Once I've rolled these big slabs up, the customer kind of looked at it and thought, you know, I'd like to make make use of that. He was thinking he could make a nice bench out of it. So all I'm gonna do is get that wide slab up on the deck, move the small one out of the way, and then take it down to a three and a half inch or something like that. So we'll drop that down on the deck, and we'll just take one cut out of it, flatten it down to the thickness that he wanted for his bench. Nothing to it, right? <laughs> Flop her down on the deck, rip it down.
And once we get it off, then of course we brought the other one up on there and he decided just to keep it the way it was. And so one more big log off the deck. Easy peasy, right? Thanks for watching folks and as always I appreciate you watching and if you haven't hit subscribe hit the subscribe button for me. Everybody have a great day. The old jar head out.